I'm Katherine Kellogg. I'm the founder of GoingZeroWaste.com. I'm here today with Everlane to share 10 easy ways that you can remove plastic from your life. The first tip is to simply just bring your own bags to the grocery store. On average, 100 billion plastic bags are used every single year. That is 12 million barrels of oil. Many of us know that we should bring our reusable bags and we have really, really good intentions, but we often forget. My best tip is just to keep them by your keys, keep them by your door, so that way whenever you're leaving the house, you can think to yourself, do I need to bring my reusable bags with me? I like to make sure that I bring reusable produce bags too. That way I don't have to get any of those plastic bags to put my fruit or veg inside. My next tip is to choose fabrics wisely. Many of the fibers that we choose to wear on a day-to-day -day basis are actually made from plastic, things like polyester, acrylic, nylon. So instead, when you're shopping, try and choose high quality items that are made from natural fibers like wool, cotton, bamboo, hemp, silk, or recycled fibers. Another great way to lessen your impact when it comes to your wardrobe is to simply buy less. The average American buys 65 new pieces of clothing a year. So instead, try and opt for 10 to 20 well-made pieces that are timeless that you can wear over and over again and for years to come. I'm pretty convinced the most wasteful room in the house is the kitchen. There's so much plastic waste that happens there from food packaging to plastic baggies and plastic wrap, but there are so many different ways that you can store your food that don't involve plastic at all. One of my favorite methods to preserve food is if I have it in a bowl, I simply just place a plate on top of the bowl and put it in the fridge. It works perfect and you don't have to go out and buy anything new. When you're grocery shopping, I'm sure you probably wind up with a lot of glass jars from things like salsa or marinara. My favorite thing to do is to rinse them out, save them, and to use them to store leftovers and dry goods. Beeswax wraps are a great alternative to plastic wrap. They are so easy to use. You just wanna start out by activating them with the heat of your hands by balling them up so that way they become really tacky and they will mold and conform to whatever you wanna wrap up. Now, when it comes to shopping for groceries, you probably will go in the store and you will see plastic everywhere. It can be really hard to buy your food without this material. So one of my favorite ways is to look for the bulk bins. These are often bins that have all sorts of dry goods in them and you can bring your own reusable cloth bags and jars to fill the food up. I love shopping this way because it removes the labels from shopping and what you're looking at is just food. Most major cities also have farmer's markets. There's typically tons of plastic-free offerings there and you're getting to support your local agriculture. Now, I know many of us are super busy. We love to get our lunch to go. We bring it back to work or we pick up dinner on the way home because it's just too much to cook that day. And I have to say, even though I don't use a lot of single-use plastics, I get takeaway all the time. When it comes to getting food for takeout or to go, I really like to bring a small metal container. It's really lightweight and they're leak proof, so it's perfect for when you're traveling. And this one perfectly fits a bagel. Right behind the kitchen in terms of offenders for plastic waste is probably the bathroom. Now, I definitely have not been able to eliminate all of my plastic use in the bathroom, but I've been able to greatly reduce it by simply implementing a capsule makeup collection. This is similar to a capsule wardrobe and where you have a few high quality pieces that you keep in constant rotation and you use them until they're gone. One of my personal favorite swaps in the bathroom is to take out your body wash. The majority of the product that you're paying for is actually water. So instead, swap it out for a simple bar of soap. And if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, they have shampoo bars and conditioner bars too. The next swap is so simple. Swap your plastic toothbrush for a bamboo toothbrush. This is one of the first changes that I made because it was so easy. And a bamboo toothbrush just looks really, really nice in the bathroom. Most of the bristles are made from nylon, which is plastic, so when you want to compost your base, you will need to pull the bristles out or just snap the head off. My next tip is take away coffee cups. You might think that they're recyclable, but they're actually not. The inside of coffee cups are lined with plastic. In order for them to be recycled, the recycling facility has to have a special piece of machinery to separate the plastic lining from the paper so they can recycle the paper. It's not very efficient at all, so most of these go straight to the landfill. So the best way to make a positive impact in this area is if you have the time, sit down in the cafe, ask for your coffee, enjoy it in a real mug to stay. Of course, there are also so many thermoses that you can bring with you to get your coffee to go. You might not know, but many conventional tea bags contain plastic. So every single time you're steeping your tea, you're actually steeping plastics into the tea that you're about to drink. One of the ways I like to avoid this is using loose leaf tea and I make it in my French press. 
My next tip is bringing your reusable water bottle with you. 50 billion plastic water bottles are used each and every year. As of 2018 in January, China stopped accepting all of our plastic and paper waste for recycling. It's caused a huge problem in the industry, so many of these things we're using are just going to the landfill or they're winding up in the environment or in the ocean. So bringing your water bottle is just a really simple switch that you can make. I have a checklist, as I'm sure many of you do before I leave any room. Phone, wallet, water, keys. I think by now we all know that straws are a huge problem. They are often found on beach cleanups because they're so small and they can get carried away by the wind, they fall out of recycle bins all the time, and they're not actually recyclable. So the easiest way is to simply ask for no straw with your drink order. However, if you like drinking with a straw, they make so many different reusable types from silicone, glass, bamboo, and stainless steel. And my last tip is a little bit out there, but it's one of my all time absolute favorite swaps, and that's a fountain pen. If you don't know, a fountain pen uses a refillable converter. So I have a little ink well, I put it in, I can fill up with ink and then I can use it so I don't have to use any plastic pens. Now I'm left-handed. And if any of you are left-handed, then you know that when you write, you tend to get ink all over your pinky. And I was so terrified of writing with a fountain pen. But now that I've made this switch, because you hold the fountain pen in a slightly different angle, I never have to worry about ink on my pinky and writing is so pleasurable. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Katherine Kellogg. Please let me know down below if you're gonna be implementing any of these tips.